Hey y'all, what's up? I am GojiFan1990 and welcome back for another new video for today. Today we're on to the next episode of gojifan 98 godzilla -thon. Today we're on to the second Godzilla movie ever made by 1955 and the last Godzilla film to be pure in black and white with Godzilla Race Again, which is my least favorite movie. Alright. This is the second entrance in the Godzilla franchise. Godzilla Race Again has a different title. In Japan, it's called Godzilla's Counterattack. When it came in the US in 1959, they changed the title for Gigantus the Fire Monster. It's not Gigantus, it's Godzilla. Alright, let's get talk about. It all started right after the first Godzilla was a successful at the box office in Japan. Toho was celebration at the time, and they decided to collaborate once more. To making the next Godzilla movie for make a direct sequel. Originally Ishiro Honda was going to attend to direct it, but he was too busy to direct other movie at the same time when the new director was hired, and we have a new composer was hired by Masaru Sato. His score, well I gotta have to say about his score in this one, it was pretty a little bit good and the movie, the story itself is kind of a little bit boring, but they brought back one of the characters from the first Godzilla, Dr. Yamani, playing by the same actor. He's only appeared a little bit screen time, and after a meeting in Osaka Police Headquarters, he was never seen again. Even they mentioned Dr. Serizawa as the... Now in this movie, they're dealing with Godzilla as a second Godzilla, to, and as well a new monster called Angurus. Godzilla was his first enemy he ever fought, who will later, as the first time Godzilla fought the other monster, and will do that for the rest of the entire Godzilla series. Now during the scene where Godzilla and Anger is fighting each other in Osaka, you can see Ang Anguirus's carapace actually move before it was fully together in the final in the whole piece. And the Godzilla design had the worst design ever. The suit was kind of a little bit funny and way too skinny. And the human characters are kind of a little bit okay, but it had a feature an actor, Hiroshi Kazumi, to make appearance in the Godzilla movie for the first time. And he will continue to appear in some other Godzilla film later on until Tokyo's OS. But I'll save it till I get there. Anyway, Kazumi was portrayed our main character named Tokioka. He was a, he was a pilot looking around trying to contact the headquarters to know to location the fish for uh, money and food, I guess. If I'm not mistaken. I really love Angerus's design in this movie. He looks pretty good, and I really love the way they did very well. And as I mentioned, uh, his carapace was actually moved during the fight between Godzilla and Angerus in the battle in Osaka. Rather than send it in Tokyo, they sent it in another place in Japan to battle for the monster. Wasn't set in Osaka. Like in the last movie, when they learned about why would Godzilla attack Tokyo, because he was trying to tension by the light, trigger him the memories about the H-bomb test. But the military used a flare to get Godzilla away from Osaka, which it did work first until when the prisoner break out out of their car, when they drive a gasoline truck, all three three of the guys, when they drive, but they actually got crashed and set up the entire refinery on fire, causing Godzilla to turn around and headed to Osaka until Angerus will later showed up and ready to fight. After Godzilla killed Angerus, he breathed the atomic breath right at him after he bit him in the neck. Godzilla returns in the sea quietly until he was spotted again on another island, where the military decided to plan to track Godzilla in the ice. And that's where the hibernation for Godzilla will take it for over nine year rest. Meanwhile, Toho was working on other movies for around the time, including some other Toho kaijus like Rodan, The Mysterians, Varen, Mothra, and other movie, including some other war movies from the past. Started with this, uh, The Storm of the Pacific from 1960. Until in 1962, Godzilla will make full comeback. But when a movie was supposed to be tend to release in 1957 in the U.S., was supposed to be a title called The Volcano Monster with a new Godzilla and Angra suit was supposed to be promoted when the American company called ABD PD Pictures, if I said it right, when they acquired disturbing rights for Godzilla Race again, they decided to shot him with a new finish with the suits by giving a name as God's 
by Tyrannosaurus Rex and Angulosaurus, and Godzilla has, had his atomic breath to be removed. When the production was started, the company was shut down at the time, and it ended the production of Volcano Monster. The suits was never returned to Toho at the time. There was only a photo of them, which can only be found on the lost film file on wikizilla.org about the Volcano Monster. Until two years later, Water Brothers got disturbing rights for Godzilla to raise again by giving it a title as Gigantus the Fire Monster. Later at the time, Water Brothers were later making their Legendary Godzilla movie collaboration with Legendary Pictures till in 2010 for a 2014 movie, but I'll save it when I get there. I have nothing else to talk about this movie, but I really love Angerus in this one, but the Godzilla suit is kind of a little bit funny and a little bit skinny. So anyway, stay tuned to the next episode. I'll reveal King Kong vs. Godzilla, the third Godzilla film and the third King Kong movie. Stay tuned, and stay with your fans, as always. So, hi, my friends.